Discord. What do you want? Ooh. I'm getting interesting messages. Let's see. So I was lying here in my bed thinking that this was an unusually boring day. It's been quite grey and rainy the last couple of days. It's not raining right now, but it's been kind of boring. And um, I was thinking, why is it that no one ever shows up to knock on your door and say, Surprise! Here's a visit you didn't expect, or a parcel you didn't know was going to come, or, you know, even a cake you didn't think you would get. No one's ever shown up with a cake to my door. That's quite strange. You would have thought at some point during more than 50 years it would happen, but no, no not really. Um, anyway, that's beside the point. What happened was, today was one of those days when I thought this was an unusually boring day nothing really going on and the house is rather quiet because there's two people in here that are cramming like mad because they're just about to finish their university um, and they have I think less than two weeks to go until they're gonna hand in their final papers um, so they don't say much they just sort of sigh and look tortured when you try to talk to them um, and then there is obviously uh, the other son who has come back from his holiday and uh, he has a lot to do that is relating to his work. He's a nurse. Every three years they need to update their competencies and prove that they are still worthy of being nurses for things. Um, and it's a huge sort of paperwork process. So he is caught up in that. And here I was lying in a relatively dark room, catching up on my fellow Vedas processes. Pro <laughs> Catching up on my fellow Vedas' uh, progress with their videos. Really love going around to see what people are doing, but there's just so many of us that I, I, I can sort of see myself doing this all the way up to Christmas. But would you believe it? There was a knock on the door. Unexpected. Um, someone wants to come in. Unfortunately, no gift, no cake, no nothing. What happened was my phlebotomist, actually not my phlebotomist, a different phlebotomist, Apparently there was something wrong with the test they took the other day. Um, it's either that they take the test and they don't like the results so they want to double check and they do it again. But every now and then what happens is they hand in my blood and something's gone wrong so they have to come back. And guess what? This time I filmed it because I thought maybe someone would like to see what's going on. Right, let me show you the footage of what happened when this man showed up. Uh, I did ask for his permission to film this. He was quite surprised, I have to say. I don't think he'd had that happening before. And um, he was a bit camera shy. But he, he, he was okay with me filming it. And I did tell him it was for my YouTube channel. So I feel perfectly okay showing you uh, this footage.
<laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> Alright, Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a lovely day. You too. Yeah, bye bye. And I'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah. bye bye. Bye. So, here it is my battle wound for this time. Um, it's interesting. They've just started taking blood from this arm uh, this month. Well, yes, now all of my tests have been done on this arm and on the exact same spot so much that I've actually started to get little bumps from where they've been sticking the needle again and again and again so now they decided they want to go on the other arm because as I could have told them years ago it's obviously not a good idea to keep sticking at the exact same spot year in and year out especially if you have to do the tests as often as I do so new place more blood given the vampire lives on for at least another couple of weeks or at least we can hope it's another few weeks before they come back but yes this is what happens they walk in with their big bag they take your blood they sit by your table and they fiddle about with their papers and then they stick your blood into their little <coughs> into their little bag and uh, you get to find out via text if there's something unusually wrong with you uh, which is every time and then uh, that's about it then you just stay ill for however long it takes until they come back I've heard some really interesting sort of conspiracy theories of what they do with all this blood they take from us because I'm obviously not the only one and uh, some of them are really interesting for instance uh, someone and they were dead serious uh, were explaining how this is a government scheme whereby they go out to all the disabled and sick people and they take our blood and they sell it to blood banks for good money <laughs> I love conspiracy nuts I seriously do um, there is something so fabulously entertaining about how wild fancies people can entertain sometimes and um, although this isn't one of the worst I still think it's pretty high up there do you believe it the reason why sick and disabled people have to give blood so often, well not give blood, but do the blood test so often, is so that the government can sell our blood. And that's how they pay for our disability uh, benefits. So now you know. How about you? Have you had anything unexpected happening lately? If so, do tell and let's talk about it. Right, guess what? I'm exhausted. I need a nap. I know it's just midday, but this is the way it works. I sleep a lot. So you know what this means? Time for me to love you and leave you. But before I do, as always, thank you very much for popping in to see me. Have a lovely day afternoon evening night whatever it is where you are and uh, don't forget i love you